uh, we've had uh, a tradition we inherited from Britain, and that had some good things in it and some bad things in it. And I think most of would agree the good things in it were we have a criminal code so that we can apply sanctions and rehabilitate people who deliberately inflict harm on others. And I think everybody here would, would agree that's a good thing. Our current government tends to forget the and rehabilitate part. They just like to inflict the punishment. Uh, and I, I could go on and on about that. The other part that was in the traditional British criminal code was to define the limits of what was acceptable social behavior. And we have been slowly but surely removing those parts from the criminal code. And so lots of things like homosexuality were beyond pale, there was no victim here, but the British criminal code said, this is illegal, this is criminalized. It was an attempt to stigmatize. So that happened to the LGBTQ community, it happened to sex workers, it happened to women who exercised their right to choice. And we've been slowly but surely removing those, if you like, and I, I am an unabashed pro-choice person, we're removing all of those things which tried to control things we saw as socially evil behavior, but weren't, in my mind, linked to any real harm. And so we've, we've got some more work to do, and I see this as completing that transition away from using the criminal code for things it's not effective for, uh, and, and I think also not appropriate for.